It's a good evening from Xfinity Center. Maryland wins a close one, 64-60. Yeah, Bruce, we blew it. Had a 21-point lead, and it, it ended up down, and he come back and win. How do you feel about this? It, listen, at the end of the day, what's our record? Six and one in the conference. What else matters? I mean, you know, it was a, I'm glad they had a game like this. I don't want to see it happen tonight, but I'm glad they had a last-second game. What a shot by Anthony Cowan. He's uh, become the money in the bank down the wire. But you know what, Wayne? You knew in your heart somehow they were going to make a comeback. Maybe not take the lead, but it's funny. Once they took the lead, they couldn't hit the side of a barn. You no, know? they couldn't. They, they used it all up getting back in the game. Look, and that happens a lot. Yes. That's what you were thinking that this might be the one game we didn't have to sweat it all the way down to the end, but as usual, it's Xfinity Center, so it, it well, has to be like this. It just has to be. Number 19 in the country, baby. That's what it's about. Yep. And that's what we are, and uh, we move on to Ohio State. Listen, can you imagine if I would have told you that Ethan Happ, I don't even know what he finished with, 10 points. Something like we 10 hold points. Ethan Happ to 10, you got to figure we win by how many? Uh, 15. Four. Right. <laughs> 15, but this What was the over-under? Uh, 130, they didn't reach it, and Maryland was a three-and-a-half-point favor to the cover. Maryland covers. Barely. So this is the Viner Four Gates postgame show live from Xfinity Center. Maryland wins an unexpected nail biter over Wisconsin. We'll be back with Luke Jackson for Press Box after this message. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, Call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerfourgates.com. As we approach 11 o'clock on the East Coast, a 64-60 Maryland win. However they got it, it's still a win. Luke Jackson, a press box editor. Bruce Posner, Wayne Viner. Luke, welcome He's in. the editor of press box. The, the editor. editor of press box. The editor. I'll get, I'll get more capital letters later. What'd you make of this? Well, really, I thought the Terps played really well offensively for the first, I don't know, 12 minutes or so. Correct, and, and then really, they stopped. Yeah, they didn't play very well offensively after that, and you could see in the second half where Wisconsin started making some shots. You Nate Reed boys, did started they? making a lot of shots. I think they Brad made, Davison made some what, they shots. make six threes on nine trips? Something exactly. like that. Exactly, and one of the issues with a big lead is that they, they had, what was it, a 21-point lead, 18-point lead, whatever it was. If you don't protect that lead and it eventually gets down to 10 and you're on your home court, this place becomes like a morgue, right? Yep. Because everyone starts to get nervous, and there's a lot of nervous energy in the building. And I think you felt that today once it got down to 10. And you knew in the second half if Wisconsin could just say connected, and they did just enough in the first half, even though they didn't do play very well uh, in the first half, they did just enough defensively late in the first half to stay connected that you knew that they were going to start making a few shots, especially some of those three-pointers in the second half. And that's sort of what happened. And the Terps just never got into a flow offensively in the second half. Wayne, correct me. The Terps only had one basket the last 10 minutes. Something. Well, the Cowan a basket. Cowan free might, throws. Might have, yeah. The Cowan basket was right. it. Right. A ton of free throws. Don't get me wrong. Look, when we were coming out of the tunnel at halftime, mm -hmm. I, I said somehow with 10 minutes to go, this will be a 10-point game. Bruce said watch out. You had the feeling 
even though, you know, you can play Maryland doesn't score much in the first half. Would Wisconsin have 15 points? Right. Uh, and, and in the first half, I that's mean, not I, good. Like we were saying, I think Maryland either had a 21 or 18 point lead. It, it, it really was should a 21, have been 30. 33 15. In the first and half. at some point, I think it was 48 27. They really could have won that game in the first half, but they really didn't. But we discussed that. You don't win the game in the first right, half. Right. Not, not in this league. Wisconsin manages to slow the whole thing down. Right. And that's what they didn't do in the first half. If you notice, especially in the first part of the first half, they were playing Maryland's pace. They were playing too quickly. What Wisconsin does when they're playing well is they slow the pace down. They play at their pace. They play through Ethan Happ in the post. And ironically, when they went on their big run in the second half, he wasn't on the, on the and floor. And neither was Bruno. Exactly. About right, well, we can reenact the play, but about right here, Bruno lowers his shoulder. He picked up his fourth, and at that point, we were running on four flat tires, it felt right, like. Right, and the and only person who wanted to shoot was Cowan. Right, and they just cleared out for him at the end. The only and thing, it, though, is that one play where Cowan got the three, they okay. got the ball down low to Bruno. Yep. He tried, he couldn't get near the hoop. Yep. He fed it out to Wiggins, who fed to a wide open Cowan. He made the three. Mm -hmm. So by getting the ball down low, the basket opened up, and that was the key. Speaking of wide open, yes. they go back to the other end. They switch on the screen. Right. Reavers is open by 10 feet on any direction. You had to feel that was going in. And he missed The last it. one I thought was going in, and it was basically in and out. It basically did go in. He basically did make the shot, but fate was on Maryland's side. Right. We still would have had time to come down and score, but here, look, here's the bottom line. Look at Ricky Lindo today. Zero points, but you don't win this game without Ricky Lindo. He does a lot of stuff that doesn't show up in the box score. Basketball right? IQ is, is what he has. Dennis Rodman of Maryland. Yeah. Without eight the rebounds, eight rebounds, no points, but he guarded everybody, and uh, it was great. I did think one thing I came out of this game. It seemed to me like the Terps got really roughed up physically. Yeah, I thought, I thought they got some problems. They got beat low. up, and Sticks is not getting any calls whatsoever. Because I think the impression that he gives off is that he's not going up strong. Because he's not quite as strong as these other guys, especially in his lower half. So he doesn't get the benefit of the doubt with the calls. Is what it, That's what it seems like to me. But he's getting beat up every game. And, and that's he, what the way it was in high school for him. Oh, yes. Right? If you saw, Absolutely. I, mean, I did go see it. I, I, that yeah. just it tends to be what happens with him, and I'm not really sure why other than... He needs 30 I, pounds. That's what he needs. That, that could be it. I and it's just like, you know, Bruno wasn't the strongest guy last year. Okay, but Bruno was stronger than Sticks. Yeah, year. but he didn't have Sticks' moves and ability last yeah. year. And, you know, Sticks needs he, that extra he, year. He was pretty good last year. Stick, but not like this, Wayne. He wasn't, he wasn't as good near as this. The player he is, is now. now, but he was still pretty good. Oh, I didn't say he was bad. Right. I'm just saying he wasn't the player that he is now. Right. Sticks next year will say the exact same thing that this year he was not the player that he'll be next year, and uh, yet he still had I don't know how many points. But uh, do yet, you want to do the scoreboard rundown before we wrap this up? I don't have a press conference to go. Do you through. have a th you have a sheet or you don't have it? Uh, we'll be back after this message and we'll get that sheet. All right. All right. We'll be back in 30. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Back on the court for our third and final segment. Let's go over the score sheet. Cowan, who had three points the last time I tweeted about him, and you said, watch out, he scores late. He finishes with 21, 4, 14 from the floor. 11 free throws. 11 That's for 13. Normal. Ayala played a pretty good game. He gets 11 uh, on the assist. He didn't get an assist tonight. Still, That's unusual. Still shooting well, three for five from three. That was big. Right. Morisella has eight points. He gets out there for how many minutes tonight? Uh, 29. He only had 16 he the other night. He did make a couple of jumpers early, so that was encouraging. Right. What did you think of that last shot that he was left wide it open? It was open. It was a 15-footer. We thought it was going in. It looked yeah. like it was online, line, but... If, he, like, if he's not going to take that, then you almost he can't have play. To, yeah. He can't yeah. play. Uh, Fernando has 10. Smith has 11. 
Wiggins has three. That really balanced scoring. It's there. It's just not as deep as it was. Right. Uh, Bender gets his, uh, what's he get, one minute tonight? That was a good minute. He got his foul, and down he goes. Overall, Maryland's 16 for 47. It's only 34%. 8 of 16 from three from the line, Luke. You know what? It kind of, this game kind of reminded me of the game a couple of years back at Wisconsin, mm -hmm. the one that Mello won yeah, at right, the end. Right. But this year it was Cowan right. uh, playing played, the role of right. Mello, Mello because in both games, uh, Maryland had a big lead that they lost. Wisconsin comes back, plays a really good second half. That time it was Mello winning the game. This time it was Cowan. Right. Uh, Maryland won one overly important stat. Only 10 turnovers. They only had eight the other night. They're really taking care of the ball better. And... Uh, Despite the fact that it came down to the very end, it's a nice win. Hey, six and one is a big ten. Six and one is six and one. It beats losing. Better than five and two. Right? There you go. Because you're going on the road Ohio now. Ohio State and Michigan State. And, and you're hoping to split. If you're going to split, right. dance on the ceiling. Okay. Right. All right. Well, well, we'll do that. You know, there's only five home games left here this year. It's no unbelievable. Kidding. Yeah. Right. Cause we oh, because we lose one. Because the Madison Square Garden. Right. right. We lost one. So on that happy note, 64-60, Maryland. Thanks to the editor. We'll just call you the editor. We're not even going to use Luke Jackson anymore. We'll get you a new shirt, new hat. Says the editor. Don't give Stan any ideas. None. Listen, you tell Stan tomorrow he left too early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come. There's people leaving with 10 seconds left at three point. I game. don't understand Never. it. All hey, right. Cal Ripken stay for the whole game. He did. Yes. All right. Uh, it's Monday night, Wednesday night. You see Turp Talk. Or here, Turf Talk on 1300, CBS right. Sports Radio at 6 o'clock, and then Sports Maven on Saturday. All right. For Bruce, Luke, this is Wayne. Good evening. We will see you from the floor here. Did you send a lo some love out to Meyer Consulting? We just did. Okay. Uh, we'll be back here in a, it seems like a long time when Northwestern comes in. Two to weeks take from the tomorrow. All righty. All Good right. night.